So Android 11 Beta 2 is upon us, and that means there's only one more beta build to go before the new version reaches stable status. Take a sec to subscribe so you don't miss our Android 11 review coming soon, and we'll jump right into what's new in this second beta. First off, this version sees Android 11 entering the platform stability stage according to Google's roadmap, meaning basically this is the home stretch for the new version's development. That makes sense given that we're just a month away from the final public beta, which in years past has been all but identical to the version that rolls out as stable a month after that. So what's new in this build? Well first off, the new quick media controls that were introduced in the last public beta have graduated out of the developer options menu and are now enabled by default. So when you start music, a podcast or any other media, you'll see this new control panel that lives up top near your quick settings. And there's also this nifty new touch effect when you tap any of the buttons here. What's also interesting here, or actually kind of frustrating, is there's no way to dismiss the media control panel directly. If you pause playback, it's still there, and because it's not technically a notification, you can't just swipe it away. So instead, you have to go to the recent app screen and directly swipe the app away, and then it'll finally disappear. Next, the screen recording feature added earlier in the Android 11 beta process has already been upgraded with a new option. In the latest build, it's possible to use an external microphone with your screen recording as opposed to your phone's built-in mic, though this will need to be a mic that's compatible with your phone. You can also choose to record only on-device audio, or combine both device audio and either the phone's internal microphone or your external mic, or just omit audio altogether if you prefer. There's also a minor new change to Android's chat bubbles feature. The process for opening messages as a bubble is still kind of clunky, thanks in no small part to the lack of supporting apps, basically still just Facebook Messenger right now. In any case, the new icon at least makes it more apparent when a conversation can be opened as a bubble. Otherwise, chat bubbles seem pretty stable in the second public beta, and now all we have to wait for is more messaging apps to support this new feature, which with Android 11 fast approaching stable status hopefully shouldn't take too much longer. Other small changes in this build include minor cosmetic tweaks in places like the Pixel Launcher. Depending on which device you're using, you might see a new label for all apps in the app drawer while you're using the AI app suggestions up top. Minor cosmetic change there, but does show Google is sweating over the details in this new version. That's about it for this second Android 11 public beta. Based on recent leaks, we're looking at the final public launch of Android 11 on Pixel phones as early as September 8th, which would put it in line with Android 10 last year. As for the next and final beta, that should emerge in early August, and based on previous years, we would expect that to be pretty much identical to the final stable build. Stick with us and subscribe here on YouTube for our Android 11 review when that lands, as well as our hands-on coverage of that third and final beta build. In the meantime, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.